speak to Somali affairs analyst and University of Portsmouth lecturer Mohammed Ibrahim Shire. Mohammed, thank you for joining us on, to, uh, on this program. Now, are you surprised at what we're seeing play out in uh, politics in uh, Somalia? I mean, uh, Robles is describing this as an, as an indirect coup. Is that something you agree with? Well, um... Well, I think it's very important to have, to have a great understanding of how it led to this type of situation. I mean, this situation has been quite simmering for quite a while, but it just seems to be coming to the fore now. Uh, early this year, Somalia was mired in a political deadlock in relation to the implementation of the electoral model that was agreed in September 2020. Now, this deadlock led to a standoff, and it was exaggerated um, after the Somali parliament extended Som uh, President Pomacho's um, extend, uh, mandate. Uh, now, it has led to a standoff, a political standoff between uh, uh, the opposition members and the government, and which also led to President Formacho to annul uh, this, this, this extension. He handed over the electoral and the security responsibility to his, to the, his prime minister. Now, things have cooled down ever since, but then things have seemed to be, have come to the service around September time, where the prime minister and the president seem to have engaged kind of tit for tat uh, clashes about appointments and the disappearance of a miss, uh, missing spy. Um, um, but it hasn't never reached this type of level. So it's quite um, unprecedented, to be honest with you. Um, um, and, 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 and for the president, for the prior Somali president to actually suspend um, the prime minister uh, uh, with allegations of corruption and uh, misuse of public uh, lands or public lands, but also for derailing the electoral process. Similarly, the prime minister has accused the prime minister, or sorry, the president of also engaging in similar uh, types of uh, uh, derailing of electoral process. So there's a bit of a accusations flying between both the two leaders. And this is something that uh, we can't give out um, a, 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 a response into who's right and who's not right, because there's no constitutional court that I can actually uh, try to um, sort these uh, political issues mm -hmm. out between those two leaders. Of yeah. course, this must be having an effect uh, on the elections, which were meant to end on the 24th uh, of December. So how is what we're seeing play out now going to affect those elections? And the results there. Well, ultimately, the elections. Well, the thing is, election the election process has been quite slow, and it has been slow since uh, the beginning of this year. Um, some attempts have been made. Um, uh, I think around uh, 24, uh, 26 um, member of parliament have been elected out of 1275, and I think up to 54, uh, so 53 out of 54 um, senators have been uh, elected. But it's still a slow process. I mean, I think the public, especially the Somali public, are getting quite wary of this and how things are playing out. Uh, ultimately, obviously, this, this political rift between those two leaders um, has reached to a point where it will definitely derail the election process for at least quite some time until some kind of a negotiated settlement or some, some kind of political agreement is reached to get things back on track. And hopefully we will see some sort of uh, political agreement for the stability of uh, the country. Mohammed Ibrahim Shire, live to us uh, there from Portsmouth. Thank you.